got him. That's all that matters. Day one, we got here um, expecting to go out in the afternoon and just kind of glass around and see if we could turn up some, some sheep. We located a band of rams late in the evening um, without enough daylight to get on them and headed back to the lodge. So our first full day, we, we located a few different bands of rams. We found, I think it was 10 or 12 rams bedded and decided to try to make a play on them. And we got up there and Brad found the ram that he was gonna shoot, pounded him, and then it was my turn. And by the time the commotion uh, settled down, my ram was running away and I didn't lead him enough and missed. Day three, we went out and did a lot of driving around and glassing that morning. Took all into the early afternoon to find the rams. Took off on a hike um, up the mountain and as close as we could get was 650 yards from them across the canyon with a pretty good crosswind. Um, I tried to take a poke at them uh, with no, no success but that's the best shot we could get on those rams. We were out glassing uh, this morning and didn't turn up anything. However, some of the other guides were out looking as well. And we got a phone call from them that they had found a group of rams. Creed says, it's big, below sawtooth. Put together a plan to try to make a stock, a real long stock on them. And from there, we, we got in on them from, got to about 550 yards and they started blowing out of their position. Took a poke and hit the ram in the back leg. And it was quite the chase from then. We chased him over the top of one mountain and into the next, into the next bowl and relocated him again and uh, we're able to relocate, come up another drainage and get a good vantage point and kill him. 